The first week of the season is done and dusted. We already have some massive changes to the top 10 of the rankings for both the men and the women. And of course, ahead of the Australian Open, the seeds are now locked in for the first Grand Slam of the year. Let's go have a look at who actually won last week because we actually had five tournaments over the two tours. So we'll start with the WTA and Rabakina. She won the Brisbane International, which was a 500 event, so a lot of points up for grabs. She beat Sabalenka in the final, 6-love, six 6-3. Six it was a big statement ahead of the Australian Open. And over in Auckland, we had Coco Goff defending the title there, beating Svitolina in three sets, 6-7, six, 6-3, six, three, six, three. It was only a 250 event, but still, defended the title and kept the points that she earned from last year. Going to the men's side and Brisbane for the men, Dimitrov winning his first title in six years. He took out Runa in the final, 7-6, six, six, Over in Hong Kong, Rublev beat Rusevori 6-4-6-4 to lift his first trophy of the year and also both of those being 250 events. And of course, the United Cup, Germany beating Poland, more specifically Zverev winning against her catch in the men's singles and of course, Fiontech beating Kerber, but Germany won the mixed doubles and that's how they got the win in the end, saving championship points as well, which was kind of crazy. So they are the results for the first week of the season. Let's go to the players that have gone up in the rankings this week after a good start to the season. Andreva, she's gone up 11 spots to number 47 in the world after getting to a quarterfinal in Brisbane. Nemo Saka, she's gone up over 9,000 spots and is ranked again Currently at 832, it's not the greatest ranking, but she is ranked again after making the second round of Brisbane, so slowly starting to get back up the ranks. And Rusevori, he's back into the top 50 after making the final of Hong Kong. Goes up 19 spots higher than last week. Players have gone down in the rankings after the first week. Madison Keys, she's gone down five spots to number 18 in the world after dropping points from the United Cup last year. Nuskova, she's gone down 11 spots outside the top 50 despite making the semi-finals of Brisbane, but she lost the finals points from Adelaide last year, so she wasn't able to replicate that result. And Berrettini, he's dropped down 33 spots outside the top 100, 125 after dropping points from the United Cup and not playing to start the season. So a couple of big names there that have been really good at the Australian Open over the last few years, dropping down the rankings to start the year. All right, let's start with the WTA rankings for the first week of the season. And Iga Fiontech stays at number one with Sabalenka at number two. But we do have a change in the top four. Rebakina overtaking Goff to number three spot, pushing Goff down to number four. Even though Goff won in Auckland, Brisbane was worth more points. And that is where Rebakina was able to take over Goff. Pagula still stays at number five with Jabir at six, Wondrusa at seven, Zachary at eight, Mukova at 9 and Krajikova rounds out the top 10 for week 1 but a few points changes as well big points changes especially for players like Fiontek who gained a lot of points and Pagula who dropped a lot of points from both playing well at the United Cup this year and not playing so well in Pagula's case so there was a lot of points changes as well, not just that one raking change in the middle. Going over to the men's side of things now, and Djokovic stays at number one. Heading into the Australian Open, he will be the number one seed with Alcaraz number two seed, Medvedev number three, Sinner at number four, and that is the top four for the Australian Open in terms of seeds. Rublev stays at number five, but adds some points to his total because of Hong Kong and winning that. But we do have a change with Zverev going up to number six, pushing City Pass down to number seven ahead of the Australian Open after playing so well at the United Cup, winning four out of his five matches. And unfortunately, City pass. He only played a couple of matches and one of those was to Zverev where he actually lost. So that was a big factor in why that changed. Runa stays at number eight with her catch at nine. But we do have a change on the bottom with Alex Dimonor becoming the first Australian to get into the top 10 since Leighton Hewitt back in 2006 on the ATP side. And he goes up two spots into that top 10 spot, pushing Fritz outside the top 10 after Fritz failed to defend the points from the United Cup last year. So some big changes towards the bottom of the top 10 there. And that'll be the top 10 as it will be for the ladies going into the Australian Open for 2024. So there you have it. They are the rankings for week one. Now, we won't go through the rankings for the race of the finals because after one week, it looks really weird. you got some players there that are not going to be there in maybe even a week or two's time. So we'll do that after the Australian Open. We'll start talking about race of the finals because a lot of points are up for grabs at the Australian Open and a lot of players will gain points and we'll start to get a little bit of an idea of who maybe we see at the end of the season in November in both the ATP and WTA finals. But let me know down in the comments below what's been the best thing about the rankings for week one. In fact, let me know down in the comments below what has been the favorite part of the season so far. I feel like week one has been so crazy on and off court for multiple reasons, not just because of the results, but also injuries and all that kind of stuff. But what has been your moment of week one? Mine personally, probably the Aussies making the semis, dimming or top 10. I like that uh, Dimitrov as well, winning a title. He deserved it after the play that he's had over the last six months. But let me know down in the comments below what has been your favorite moment of week one of the season.